We left Scotland for our next adventure, a six hours train ride that felt like six years train ride because we had some fun passenger in there. Loud. We made it here. We are in drum roll. We're in England. That six hour train ride took us all the way from Inverness, across the English border, into uh, Yorkshire, to a little town called Richmond. Beautiful place. Hey, Sudi, you know, when we landed in Inverness in Scotland, uh, they check our passport. Why nobody check our passport when we cross Scotland to England? Ah, because it's the United Kingdom. So no border checks between Scotland, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. All right, Mr. Isolf, thanks. Yeah, we've just spent the day walking along the riverfront. There was an old railway station that had been converted into a cafe and art gallery. I think seema has got some video and footage and some pictures from that we'll share later. This is actually the Airbnb we're staying in. It's the old Sunday school. Uh, it's beautiful inside. I'm sure uh, seema has got some more shots of that to share with you. But yeah, so we're here, Yorkshire Dales. Uh, it's fabulous. The scenery here is unbelievable. And the people are so friendly. Really, really friendly people here. So it's been great. We are at our lovely Airbnb in Richmond. And the first thing I notice is when you uh, enter the building, there were in many other buildings too, including restaurants and shops. There is this little place down here um, that I guess you would supposed to clean your shoes before you enter the building because it gets really wet and rainy here and then as I walked in I found a very interesting display here it's almost like an o'clock um, that there are a bunch of numbers or pound sign I'm not sure sweetie what is this okay so this is a smart meter so every home in England has one of these now and it tells you on an instantaneous basis how much power and electricity you're using and then how much money you've spent so far this month so you can so this house has used 14 pounds and 29 pence worth of electricity um, since the first of the month. So this helps uh, folks in the UK stay on budget. They can set their budget limits. They know if they're coming up to their budget. They know if they're past their budget. And they can tell how much their power bill is going to be. And given the uh, situation in Europe and the power demands that we've got going on in Europe at the moment, a lot of households watch this very closely because it governs you know, how much money they have to spend every month. Let's continue our tour to the rest of the Airbnb. So here is an additional living room area with a cute fireplace and a couple of couches. And then we next gonna walk into the kitchen. It's adorable, it's a small, but it has everything that you would need. Now I'm gonna walk toward the three extra bedrooms that they're all next to each other. There are two bathrooms here. I'm gonna walk into the first uh, bedroom here. It has a really a large, nice window that you have a really a good view to the street and let a square plant of sun and light that comes in and it's not raining to it. Wow, what a surprise. The room is very nice and clean. Here's the additional uh, bedroom. What I really want to show you guys is the situation for the ladies that have to do their hair and makeup. So here we go. Once you arrive in Europe, Gotta remember that there are no hair dryer plugs in the bathroom. So when you are getting ready and you need to dry your hair, use your curling iron or flat iron, you need to grab your stuff and come to the bedroom and try to find the plugs. And hopefully it is an accessible area. Plug it in there and use the mirror that's being offered in the bedroom. But there is no plug in the bathroom. There is a plug in the bathroom for the guys for the shaver that gives enough power for the shaver but not for the hair dryer and flat iron. So sweetie which one of these are the right adapter for UK? Okay so they're both the right adapter they both fit the three pin outlets. This one has the adapter for American three pin plugs this is only for two pin plugs. Okay so this Samsonite one is okay but I wouldn't recommend it. This one I'd recommend is a two-pin adapter, so you can run or charge two appliances from this at the same time. 
Uh, it's got a nice angle on the side so you can pull it out from the wall easily. So yeah, we'd recommend this one. So got up quite early to be able to get some good videos and picture of the town before the streets gets really crowded especially because this is a market town so the streets gets really busy it's also uh, on the weekend right now and there is a fair going on as well so within few hours this street will be packed and oh my god guys let me tell you this little street that i'm walking right now is a high i need to take a little bit of rest because i really want to get to the richmond castle to be able to take some picture uh, of the beautiful castle uh, i heard this castle was built in early 1070s and it has a hundred feet sandstone cap i wasn't able to go in because uh, i was there quite early but check out how beautiful this castle is it's also overlooking a river the view is absolutely stunning wow well, enjoy the music and check out the town later in the video we are heading to an old train station that they have converted it to a coffee shop and also there was an, a quite a nice surprise inside the old train station there was a brewery inside that called husband daycare oh my goodness we definitely need one of these in a state check Check out the husband daycare guys guys we need this in us guess what i found here come check this out one time to shop yes i do me time yes i need me time want to relax for a few hours yes i can relax for a few hours leave your husband with us we look after him for you you only need to have to pay for his beer. So I think I'm just going to leave Mark right here. I think he would have no problem with it. I think he would actually appreciate that. I'm sorry guys, they didn't allow camera inside the brewery, but here are some of the pictures and video of inside the train station that was turned into an art center and some shops and also there were some seats that you could see and order coffee and tea and dessert these were some of the biggest teapot that i have ever seen the dessert pieces were also huge and here we are having a discussion about if the jam goes first or if the cream goes first well, let's see what's happening here. I guess jam went on first. Okay, mystery solved here. After having all this dessert and sweet, I'm afraid it's time to burn some calories. So we head out of the train station and walking back to our Airbnb. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel on YouTube.